What is up, beautiful fish lovers, and welcome to another episode of Puff Daddy Reef. Today, I'm gonna talk really quickly about one of my favorite fish. These are the shrimp gobies, and of course, their pairs, the pistol shrimp. Now, these are one of the most amazing things you can get a reef aquarium because it demonstrates symbiosis. Two different species living together for mutual benefit. Another common way where you see symbiosis in the reef is a clownfish and an anemone, and I would say that would be one of my second favorite examples of it in the reef. Now I've got a problem in this tank. This tank is bare bottom. I did this for a lot of reasons. The main reason was when I moved, I kicked up so much dirt and junk and other things, and it created all this detritus, and the whole thing was a mess. Sand got everywhere. I was worried about things scratching the glass. So when I set up this new tank, I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna go bare bottom. Now I didn't go completely, now the biggest downside that I thought about bare bottom at the time was less um, white surface to reflect light up underneath the corals to keep the bases of those SPS corals really healthy. But the really big thing that was another issue was the limitations on species that I could actually put in my tank because there's no sand, so there's no burrowing, so any sort of species that likes to burrow or needs someone, like a pistol shrimp, to help them burrow. This includes the whole shrimp goby pair uh, class of fish I can't actually have in this tank. So fortunately I have that little tank. If I really, really felt like I needed one, I could. Um, but I did have one in the past, and I'm gonna show you some clips of that, kind of explain the species and why I, I wish I could have half sand, half bare bottom, uh, but without all the mess of sand. But anyway, let's get to it. I want to show you all about this fish because it's something that's really special to me and enjoy today's video. So here is one of the most gorgeous, most intriguing, most curious pair of the reef. You have the shrimp goby and the pistol shrimp. Now the shrimp goby you see above there, that's a Randall's goby. Uh, also called the orange stripe prawn goby. And this is a gorgeous fish. It has a big false eye on top of its fin um, that makes it look a little bigger than you think. Confuses predators. Who knows what the full purpose is. And then below there you have the uh, candy cane pistol shrimp. Some people call them the red banded pistol shrimp. But he is shoveling out a burrow. Now this is amazing. So what happens here, this is an example of symbiosis in the reef. You have the pistol shrimp that basically keeps a nice home all maintained and beautiful. Look, he's even going to try to push this shell out of the way. Just keeps the home nice and clean for this uh, prawn goby. And what the, go what the pistol shrimp gets from it is someone to help protect him to be his eyes and ears on the ground. Also someone to go after some food which he sometimes might get some scraps from. But if you see when the pistol shrimp is outside of the burrow, he has antenna, and they are always touching the goby at all times. If the goby sees something that is threatening or scary, the goby will jump, quiver, shoot back in the hole, and the pistol shrimp will go back with him. Now this is so cool. They are working together day in and day out to basically create the best life they can on the reef, which has many dangers. Now, they're not without their own ways to fight back against predators or um, attack prey. For example, the pistol shrimp has one claw that is much bigger than the other. You can see it right there. It's, uh, it's basically his left claw. And what he can do is he can snap it so fast that it creates a cavitation bubble in the water. It basically creates a vacuum and that collapses upon itself and makes a loud snapping sound. Now this can be used to ward off predators. It also can be used as a tool to stun prey. And that's another way that the pistol shrimp gets basically food and prey. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the prawn goby here. So this is the orange striped prawn goby, also known as the Ramdal shrimp goby. They can get up to four and a half, maybe five inches from the Indo-Pacific region. And they're a great fish if you're looking for a fish for a nano tank. In fact, if you had a nano tank and you just had to have, like it was a really small one, like maybe 10 gallons, you just had to have something in there. 
Um, I would get a shrimp goby pear and maybe one clownfish. That would be perfect. Um, the shrimp goby pear, you could watch forever. They would be so fascinating. Um, but these prawn gobies, they're generally pretty, well, they're pretty affordable fish. Um, usually between $15 to $50, uh, depending on the, the species. There's a couple species that will actually um, pair with shrimp. So you have not only the prawn goby, but the hyphen red banded goby will pair with shrimp. The, the yasha goby will pair uh, with a pistol shrimp. Wheeler shrimp goby. Uh, there's also um, a few other really cool ones and you just have to go online to a fish store and they'll show you which ones will actually pair with fish, but there's quite a few. And it's just a very, very, very cool fish to have. So the big takeaways are um, that it's a symbiotic relationship. The goby has good eyesight, shrimp does not. Shrimp maintains the home, shrimp keeps his antenna on the gobies. If there's something scared, then he jumps back in his hole. Um, I think that's about it for these fish, but I did want to show you another type of goby that I've had that has also been a really cool um, shrimp goby pair. Now this is another one of the types of shrimp gobies I've had. This is a high fin red banded goby and I had this in my innovative marine nouveau fusion before I turned it into the fish fishless ultra low maintenance type of tank and this is a really cool fish sometimes you can get them in pairs and this one's even suitable for it's suitable for a 10 gallon tank but if you're going on the pico side this is a good one because they don't get much bigger than two inches and yes they pair with gobies too i think they're pattern striking and they're affordable around 20 bucks Once again, thanks for joining us today. If you haven't, please hit subscribe and hit that bell. Also, check out my website, pdreef.com. If you go to pdreef.com slash free, I've got some 3D printed STL files. You can download some stuff and design for my tank, and you can print it yourself if you have a 3D printer. So thanks again, and happy reefing.